Yo, what is going on guys? It is the SGR Commander today with another Man 22 video and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how I got 1.1 million coins in Man 22. In case you guys did not know here in the channel, all I post are no money spent methods. So if you're looking for coins, XP, or training points, there are videos all over the channel. I'll be uploading videos all year long on those methods. So if that's what you're looking for, you are in the right place. As always, if you have any questions or want to talk about in today's video, make sure to leave a comment down below and I'll answer comment as soon as possible. Alright, so I'm just going to break down how I got all these coins. Uh, in case you didn't know, you know, you should only have 25,000 coins right now. In my last video, I did like a spending spree. So, uh, you see like I, I bought Jerry Rice and I bought Sean Taylor, bought some training, stuff like that. Uh, go check it out. It's a good video. Uh, I had fun doing that. I was, I was always spending a lot of coins doing spending sprees. But I'm going to teach you guys how I got all these coins. So, uh, I have a couple methods I want to talk about. First, uh, we're going to talk about the most important method. It wasn't the best method in this process, but it's something that a lot of people overlook. And uh, you guys saw in the video, I had a bunch of 80 overall Campus Hero cards. Now, what should you do with those 80 overall Campus Hero cards? Well, I want you to do, if you want to get, you can, this process takes like 10 minutes to do every time. And you make about 10,000 coins every, you know, less, literally less than 10 minutes. All right. Go over here and go to the Campus Heroes. Just filter by all offense or all defense. Sometimes what I do, I'll just filter by specific positions. But you want to buy some of these cards for about 80, or for about 8,000 or less. Uh, they are up in price a little bit, but last week they were actually at about their cheapest. Uh, they were around like 7,500. It was not that uncommon to find them for that cheap. You want to get these for about 8,000 or less though. And I would buy th three of those cards and I would come over here to the sets. <clears throat> Excuse me. I would come over to the sets. I'd go over to Team Infinity, Team Builders, and I would just do the Bears, Justin Fields. Uh, is Justin Fields the best one? I don't know. Look around a little bit, see which one goes for the most out of all these. Uh, However many cards there are, there should be like 64 of these team builder cards, two for each team. So, I just did Justin Fields for one, I'm a Bears fan, and he, Justin Fields was one of the more expensive ones. So, I just did Justin Fields, and also he's like the first guy on the list, so that does save some time going through, scoring all the way down and all that. So, uh, yeah, I would just keep doing this. I would put these 380 overalls into this set, and then I have I had a bunch of gold players. I still do, because I'm waiting for Team Diamonds, but like the teams that I don't need... Or like some of these leftover, um, what is it called, superstars? Some of these leftover superstar golds, I would put into these sets because, hey, I'm not going to use them anymore. The superstar promo is over. I'm not worried about any superstar golds that I have. So if you have some of these uh, superstar gold cards, use them for this set. The ultimate kickoff ones, I will say, hold on to those because ultimate kickoff ones do go for a little more than some of the others. So uh, just that's just a little tip there. But that's what I did. I probably did this, and I got about however many times it would take. I got about anywhere from two to 300,000 coins just from doing this. Maybe even a little more. I did this a lot. Like, I kind of grinded this hard for one night, sat down. I would do a couple couple batches of this and then back all the way out. All right? Next thing I did was, uh, this, was pro this was number one, the best way that I got coins uh, last week, earning about 900,000 coins in total last week because I started out the week with about 200K. But um, I played a lot ahead to the seasons last week. I think I played through probably four to five seasons on Labor Day. Like, I had the whole day off. Uh, so I, could just, I sat down and played some seasons. For a little bit, I think I played two seasons on Monday. Tuesday, I was sick. I didn't go to school. You know, last week I didn't post a lot of videos because I was sick. So Tuesday, I wasn't even at school. So I played some videos, or uh, I played some uh, some seasons last week on Tuesday. So between Monday and Tuesday, I played four seasons in total. And then I think I played one more season uh, from Wednesday to Friday. So I played about five seasons, or yeah, five seasons. And I won one Super Bowl, went to the playoffs each time. And I think I made it to the third game almost every time. So, uh, for each head of that season win that I got, um, I, I was in veteran the whole time. Maybe I was in pro for one season, but I was in veteran pretty much the whole time. You get 3,400 wins per season, so winning about 8 to 9 games a season, sometimes 10, times that by 3,400, then times that again by 5. All right, that's, I know it's a lot of math, but 7 wins. Every time I got 15K. So, every time I did this, I got 15K. So, I got whatever 15,000 times 5 is. That's how many seasons I played. And then from the Super Bowl... I forget how many coins you get. It's like a 30k coin quick sell. Maybe it's like 40k. I don't remember. Then the playoffs wins, you get another, um, what's it called? You get another amount of, like a coin quick sell for winning a certain amount of games in the playoffs. So each game, each season, I was making around 60k-ish. That's that's an ish. Um, the, the season I won the Super Bowl, I, won, I made about 80, 80 to 100k. It's somewhere around that range. So when, once you play five seasons, uh, I, I either played five or six, I can't remember, but I played, I for sure played five. Uh, once you add all that up, you know, you're, you're really pushing 300k, 400k, 500k. So, uh, I mean, I made a majority of my coins doing that. Another thing I did, I invested in some cards, uh, just like some little, some little pieces here, here and there. Nothing really, nothing really crazy. It was like some of the 89 overall, uh, what are they called? Like the 89 overall campus year cards. I just flipped a couple of those, 
really didn't make a lot of coins from that. I made about 50k. I actually lost out on, on one of them. Uh, one of them I actually I lost coins, so I, I made a bad decision. So, uh, but I, I did that about twice. Really didn't do much for me, but I always like taking a risk here and there, sniping a card, and then trying to put them up for more. So uh, that was another way I made some coins. So now we're about 800k, uh, and the other 100k was just simply made through. I played some of these challenges here. Uh, what I did was, if we look at this ultimate kickoff here, uh, I played through all these challenges. I believe you earn about what is it you earn? Uh, from each challenge here, I haven't, okay, you earn about a little over 10,000 per uh, season, or per challenge set here. How many do you earn per, okay, so you earn, for four stars, you earn 1,000 coins. So, uh, I did complete pretty much all these, so I earned about 15,000 coins here. And then I sold, uh, I had from these like 82 overall plus cards, what are they? Like the 82 plus one right here. I did pull uh, the 85 John Johnson, and I pulled another 85 John Johnson from one of the 76 plus. So I did get lucky, but... Uh, those each sold for about 30k. Then all these golds, I I sold a couple of them, uh, but I still have some of them just sitting in my binder. I don't know why. I honestly don't know why they're just sitting in my binder. I should just sell them. I'm not going to complete the set. Uh, and one thing I'll probably do, I'll probably just get another 20 stars. I might even get another 40 to quick sell some uh, the 88s overall for training. And then uh, just sell the 276 plus cards for some more coins. So that got me a decent amount of coins. And uh, that's really all I did. I did do my daily objectives. Obviously, I did get two 25k coin quick sells, which is really lucky. I haven't gotten any 25 coin quick sell uh, cards at all this year. And I pulled two of them in the same week. So that was really lucky. I did see people pulling more 25k coin quick sells, like in live streams and stuff. I did watch a couple live streams uh, during the week. I saw people pulling more 25k coin quick sells than ever. So maybe the odds are boosted. I don't know. But I did have really good luck with that. And that is literally like all I did to make pretty much a little over a million coins uh, last week, a little over 900,000, so somewhere in that range. But yeah, I spent 1.1 million coins on, it would have been Saturday, and uh, really made my team a lot better. So that's literally all I did. Nothing too crazy. Uh, hopefully this was, like, hopefully all this stuff made sense. If you have any questions on what I did, uh, please let me know down below. I'll be glad to answer your questions because I know it is confusing, and uh, I'll be glad to help you if you have any questions. So I just want to take about a minute right now to update you guys what you should be doing in the game. If you're looking to make some coins, if you're looking to just stay up to date with what you should be doing right now in Madden 22, one thing I would make sure you're doing, all right, this is the biggest tip I can give you if you're kind of lost what to do, play through the Ultimate Kickoff Challenges and the Campus Heroes Challenges, because you get a free 89 from playing through these, and you can get two free 88s from playing through these. Additionally, probably maybe even a third 88 if you uh, can complete some of these sets by getting all these 76s, in case you don't know, like all these 76 pluses and then the 82 plus you can put into a set to get another 88 overall cards. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. Scroll all the way over, go to my team, go to sets, and then go to ultimate kickoff. You're going to notice, like, all those 76 plus cards, uh, and you're going to see an 82 plus card. You can put any of those into the set. So, like, the, the 85s uh, or the 82 overall cards, you put into the sets to get an 88. You can add an 88 overall to your team, or you can quick sell that 88, or you can sell on the market that 88 overall card, or you can quick sell it. So, there's a lot of ways to get coins from doing this. You're not going to have enough cards. You probably won't unless you're insanely lucky uh, to complete the set. But go over here to exchange, and you can make some coins from uh, just doing this, or you can make cards from putting uh, players into this set. I am going to try to figure out a way to get coins by doing this. I've been kind of playing around with this. Um, you know, sets are always a great way to make coins, but I'm, I'm going to keep kind of experimenting with this, looking around a little bit. I am going to try to find a way to make coins from these two sets right here, or at least one of them. Uh, I'm sure there's a way. I just need to look at the market a little more and just try to figure out what to do. The 85 sell for about 30 to 40k, and uh, I just want to find the right way. The 82s you're going to lose out on, which kind of stinks. So, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it. i got to try to figure some things out here. Uh, but I will get back to you guys in, in a future video if I find a method uh, with this 82 to 85 overall exchange set. So, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, like I said, if you have any questions on how I got all these coins, please let me know down below. I'd love to help you guys out. And, uh, yeah, that's what I have for you guys today. So in case you guys don't know, I shout out every single one of my comments. All you got to do to get a shout-out in my next video is comment on this video. So here are all the shout-outs from the last video. Uh, I got to pull them up real quick because I have no way of looking at the comments. So let me just pull up the video right now so I can look at all the comments from the last video. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying the videos. All right, I, I enjoyed that spending spree. So if you guys want to see me spend all my coins, see the players that I bought, Go check that out. So here are all the shots from this video. TEG Mago Moms, Mill Dolphin Thing, The Athletic Channel, Hunt Awakens, George Washington, Yolkface, The Athletic Nation, 
moving Fiji. Fortnite gameplays in the champ. Thank you all so much for coming to the last video. Hope you guys enjoy. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe down below, and I'll talk to you later. Stay safe for me, and peace out.